Yo, what's up? This is your girl Dragon and it's time for a Fortnite Creative Quick Tip. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a save and load system. This one's going to be really fun and I hope you guys find it beneficial. If you really like tutorials like these, be sure to drop a sub. That way you won't miss a thing. In addition, be sure to share it with a friend. Who knows, it might help them out. Alright you guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's go. All right, so this mechanic will save your player's inventory based upon a specific event and load that save data upon a specific event. Let me go ahead and break down the structure for you. All right here we are, we're back in editing mode and you can see here when players spawn in, they'll get a chance to choose their weapon. When they choose their weapon, it's going to save each time. Now they can play with their weapons in this specific area However, if they go into an area, let's say that does not require weapons, like it's maybe it's a parkour or a particular type of mini game that does not need weapons. When they enter the zone, the weapons will be removed. And then when they go to this zone, they're gonna be teleported back to the main lobby here and their weapons will be loaded back. So let me go ahead and show you a play test to show you what we're building today. And then I'll show you the settings. I'm just going to grab my weapons and this is the area where I can do whatever I want. And let's say there's another area I want to go to and play this game. The weapons are removed and I can do whatever I want in this particular area. And when I complete that task, I go back and I have the weapons I collected. If I collect more weapons, it's going to behave exactly the same way. And I have all my weapons back. So that's basically the setup and it's pretty cool. Let me show you the settings. All right, so to prepare, you're going to need save device, item spawners, and I have a hut message device to basically send a message once they're teleported back, an item remover, I'm using volume devices, but you can also use mutator zones if you feel like they're not buggy and you want to give it a go. So I have two volume devices. All right, so let's first start with the save device. I have it set to gameplay only. Auto save is off. Auto load is off and so forth. Again, you can adjust this whichever way you like. For functions, I'm saving the player when they pick up their item from the item spawners. You can also choose to have an area that, let's say the items are in a particular, like a weapon room. Then they leave and they pass through a zone that would save their weapons. You can also choose to do that. So it's up to you. I'm having it load when they are teleported back. and there's no events. My item spawners are each the same. So this is what I have set. No functions and when the item is picked up, save player. Should already be binded from the save point device. And these are the same as well. Save player and save player. Next is the teleporter. And again, these choices are optional depending on what you want. And then functions we're going to teleport when receiving from the volume device when they enter and that's when they're done with that particular zone. On teleport it, we're going to send an event to load the player and show the HUD message device. For the HUD message device, of course, you can set whatever you like. 
and then you're going to show and receiving from the teleporter when they come back. Next is the item remover. And I have it set to only affect the weapons only. That is because let's say you have a parkour with gold and they're collecting other items. You want to make sure they keep those items um, while they go into that particular zone. If there's nothing that they need to collect, then you could just go ahead and set it to all items. And you want to either choose the amount in the device or percentage. Since I didn't put anything into the device, I chose 100% of all weapons to be removed from the player and so forth. We're gonna remove when receiving from the volume, remove weapons on enter. And that's the, the name I gave to my volume here. And these are the settings. And on enter, remove the items. All right, and then once they're done with the zone, they're gonna be going to this volume device. And it's practically the same. And then on enter, we're going to send them to the teleporter. Just like that. And that is the complete system, a really simple and easy way to save and load a player. Hope it helps. Yo, that was super simple. I hope you guys do find this beneficial and you can use this in your maps. If you do, let me know down in the comments. And if you're feeling so kind, be sure to support me in the item shop. My code is right there on the screen. If you do, you are awesome. All right, that's gonna do it for this really quick tip and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.